It is time for our next edition of Pay It Forward, and today we are highlighting a local nonprofit that is making a big difference right here in the DMV. Josie's Closet supports Maryland students with clothing. We know that's very essential, ladies, right? And we are so happy to welcome several members, including the founder, to help spread the good word. Thank you, first of all, for all that you do. Thank it's you a man. pleasure to have you. All right, Vanessa, I want to start with you. Uh, tell me about your organization, why you started it, and your, the lovely team that you have surrounding you. Josie's Closet is a nonprofit organization located in Montgomery County, Maryland, but we also serve PG County. And the organization was started to address clothing insecurity. Mm. Clothing insecurity is a critical need all over, and especially um, with all the schools. With me, I have my team. Uh, Glendale Lassen is the president. I'm the CEO, by the way. Uh, Catherine is a board member, and Pat is the vice president. Good morning. Yeah, I want to go down the line uh, briefly here because it's not just the, the physical embodiment, you know, the clothing. There's a lot of socioeconomic healing that takes place as well with the work that you do. So talk about why that's so important and how it really fuels you to, to keep on giving. Well, one of the things with providing clothing, we do provide new clothing to the children. And very often that would be the first new outfit some of the children have. So we want to start at a very young age at building the self-esteem. Mm. When, when you look good, you feel better and you act better. And you all also use the clothing for emergency situations. There's also the year-round program that you have as well. Yeah, we have two programs. And initially, um, sometimes children come to school and they soil their clothes, so we don't want them to be, be embarrassed. So we have nice new uh, clothes for them to wear home and to also keep. And then for our um, everyday need, it's for uniforms generally for um, the schools in Prince George's County. And then Montgomery County, they do get two new outfits. Uh, about how many schools do you serve now? Currently, we have 14 schools, oh, wow. five in PG County and nine in Montgomery County. And you all just, I guess, officially became a nonprofit last year, if yes. I'm correct. Yes. Wow, but you started this in 2019. In 2019, not the nonprofit, but we started um, our journey. I felt a calling um, to contact a local school, and I did to see if they had any needs, and they had clothing needs. So I gathered my friends together, and for like 2019, until we started the organization, we would just supply the needs of the school. What was it in you? You know, we often hear about the problems, right, uh, in society, and we cover many of them yeah, here on the news. For you to see a need and say, you know what, I'm going to stand up and do something about it, I'm going to get involved, what was that energy inside of you that want to be part of the, the solution, whereas just watching the problem that so many of us sadly do? I feel like we're blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. You know, we have so much, and there's other people that were in need, and that was you know, before the pandemic, but even as the pa pandemic, you know, went on. So we want to share, and that's why we made it an official organization, so that we can impact other students and other schools. Because you wouldn't think that in 2024, children are still going to school with shoes that are too small, clothing that are ill-fitting, you know, no coats. And you may even see them on the street, you know, as you pass to go to work, where the children don't have coats. Don't always think that they left their coat at home. Sometimes they just don't have it. And they, they're getting bullied because they're not properly dressed, you know. And so we want to build self-esteem. We want them to feel good about themselves because this makes a better person overall. Yeah. And we want to honor the work that you all do. So I want to bring in a special gift oh. that we have for you ladies with Josie's Closet. Thanks so much, Madison. This is a check for $2,200 oh on behalf of Eastern's <laughs> Automotive Group. Thank you. So you Thank can continue you. with the clothing, the shoes, the socks, everything that they so desperately need. Thank you so much. Thank you. We, we appreciate it. Yes. yes, thank you so much. And if anybody wants to volunteer also, we have um, vacancies for that. So, opportunity. yeah, definitely plenty of opportunities to help us out. Um, we have opportunities for volunteering in shopping. And if you have experience in writing grants or um, fundraising also, but mainly shopping. We do need shoppers. All right. Well, keep on keeping okay. on. I love what you all are doing, and we're just happy to be able to show support as well. Congratulations, you, and I'm sure this will help.